no, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> this is a mess. What is this thing doing? Hey guys, what is going on? Lucamundo here, and we are back in Kerbal Space Program 2. I am super uber excited. Today, we are going to be looking at placing a satellite in orbit. I thought that would be kind of cool. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to the VAB and we're going to place a standard telecommunication satellite. I think that would be cool. So it needs to have a small remote guidance unit, maybe a hex. Yeah, that's nice and small. This will be a very small satellite. We'll also have a dish on it, so let's go down to communications. We could put on this guy, and I'd wish I could get these to clip right to the center, because for some reason it's not. All right, so I guess the next step is to make sure we have power. I think we will want a small battery, maybe on the bottom, just like that, yes. And then we're going to need a couple of teeny-weeny solar panels. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and extend it all. Let's see. Oh, perfect. I like it. So we've got what we want. I think that that's really all we need. What we also want is teeny weeny propulsion like that. And then a teeny weeny little engine like that. There we go. You know what? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's do that. Let's do that. Perfect. I love it. All right. So what we'll do next is we'll attach it to some stuff. So we need a teeny weeny decoupler, perfect. And we're gonna put that on one of those payload plates, but we'll make it a small payload plate. And we'll go ahead and right away, we'll just fairing it up. We'll go straight up like that. There we go, perfect, payload in place. Oh, that is such a tiny payload. It's gonna be super easy to get to orbit. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and we can see our trip planner here. Um, we just want one way and it says Kerbin low and then Kerbin re-entry um, So or entry and exit. So it looks like Kerbin low orbit. We need 3400 max Delta V now currently we've already got 600 of that I think what we'll do is we're gonna toss in a larger Larger tank just like that now that's gonna give us a lot more Delta V now of course uh, It's heavier, but that's fine and then we are going to, at the tippy top of this, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll actually put a secondary control. Let's do a small round. Perfect. There we go. So what we actually have is a uh, robotic control. So this guy will actually control the re-entry of the rocket itself. And we'll go ahead and pop a couple shoots onto it just in case it doesn't enter very easily. Perfect. Just like that. So now we actually have two different vehicles here. I think that's gonna be cool. So let's call this um, uh, Sat One. All right. So now let's go ahead. I th hey, I think we can launch it. I think that's as simple as that. I'd say we do it. Let's go ahead and launch. Let's launch the Sat One. Let's take that up in the air. And let's see how we do. Oh, uh, well, I really want to use SAS control, but I really want this to work just on its own. Let's go ahead and tilt it right from the beginning. Maybe it's just going up a little bit too straight. All right, let's leave it. That's about 90 degrees or so. So let's leave it at 90. Let's go ahead and see how far. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. Thank you. No, thank you. We want 90. Oh, yeah, right about there. Come on. There we go. No, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> this is a mess. What is this thing doing? This shouldn't be doing this at all. This is terrible. We'll never be able to keep this in a nice circumference, nice, uh, a nice orbit. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to make this rocket a lot larger for such a small payload. Okay, this should work a little better. Let's go ahead, get through that countdown. There we go. Uh, that has a slower takeoff, but that might actually be good for this because uh, there's a lot longer of a wait, so it will actually, the wait will be from farther down. So I guess what we'll do is we'll wait until we get into the upper atmosphere. So there's a ground level, a lower and upper, and then of course space. So we'll go ahead and wait till we get there. We are also increasing in our speed and we're about halfway on fuel. Let's go ahead and start to rotate. We should be able to rotate easily now. Let's try to get there. 
um, we do need to hit, hopefully, uh, 100 apoapsis before we can cut the engines. There we go. We just hit uh, major atmosphere. Good. Major atmosphere milestone. Awesome. We're almost to space. So fantastic, guys. This is definitely doing way better. Let's go to our map. And now let's go and get a control. Circularize. Please tell me we have enough Delta V for this. Look at that. We have literally just enough Delta V for this. We have 1,484 and we need 1,426. Perfect. We're going to be using up every last cent of our burn. Which, hey, that's fine for me. I am perfectly fine with doing that. And uh, we did it. Look at that. Look at that. Apoapsis is 146. Periapsis is 91. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll uh, get ourselves into a nice even orbit. I think I want to be at, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it at about 146, 146,000 meters um, on both peri and apo. Uh, so that'll be good. We have literally 56 delta V left. Hopefully it gives us enough to do it. We'll see when we get there. Uh, you know, I just realized we aren't going to be able to do much. I wanted to get this rocket back down. I guess we're going to have to just launch the satellite from here. And maybe the last 56 Delta V might slow us down enough. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and let us uh, detach. There we go. Now we'll want to go ahead and circularize with this guy. So let's go ahead to... Uh, we're, we're aiming correctly. Let's go and burn. Oh, that's right. I've got enable. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was, um, that, that was quite a bit more guys. We did it. Check that out. We'll aim down at the ground and there is our communication satellite guys. We did it. Communication satellite is up and going. We are receiving communications. Perfect. Let's go switch over to our other vehicle here. And let's see if we can go to, let's see, SAS on, because we're still in control. We are still in control. Uh, so let's go to retrograde if we can. Do we have any turn controls? You know what? I'm not quite sure if we do. Uh, the reaction wheel's on. No power. Oh, snap. Oh, bummer. Well, we're just going to have to delete it, unfortunately, because uh, the SAT-1 is up and away. Guys, we did it. There is SAT-1. Now we just need to recover our, uh, our, our vehicle here. Can we actually recover this part? No, we can't. Perfect, guys. We did it. We put a satellite into space. There it is. Well, let's go ahead and let's do one more thing here. Let's go back to the uh, Herbal Space Center. Let's go to the tracking station. And let's see, SAT-11 is up in space. Can I go ahead and rename this? It would be cool to rename it, uh, but I can't, unfortunately. Now, default name, we're going to go ahead and can I trash it? Doesn't look like there's any way to trash. I'm thinking of reverting back. Um, so let's revert back to VAB. Let's go back and let's try to add a little bit more Delta V so that we can bring it home uh, because it just does not have enough to actually get back down, even though we only need a uh, 300, uh, 3,600 to circularize. Uh, we need more than that to then bring it back down. We need another 800 or so. Now, the one thing we were missing was a uh, battery. We needed more batteries, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and let's grab a couple of small batteries or at least one. That should be enough battery to get back home. All right, and here we go. We are liftoff again, uh, and we've got a plan. We're going to do it. We are going to go ahead. We've tried this a couple times now, and it didn't quite work out, but this time I think it's going to work. So what we'll do is we'll just get up to probably upper atmosphere. We'll start to angle soon, but uh, when we get up all the way, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll make sure that we have... Uh, the proper angle so that we can get a nice good circularization around the planet. Uh, we're going to want that. Uh, we are hitting a lot of, well, G-forces are good, but we are hitting a lot of resistance in this lower atmosphere. We're going to wait till mid-atmosphere before we actually turn any bit more. All right, we're at about 70% angle right now, and we are definitely climbing. Our apoapsis is currently at about only about 25,000 meters we need to get to at least 100 to 130. All depends on what we want to do. So we're going to go ahead and try to circularize. We'll uh, have just enough to get into low orbit with the satellite. 
and the rest of it will kind of just fall to the ground. So let's go ahead and target here. All right, in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and blast. There we go. And just about there, boom. Okay, 119 left. Let's go ahead and check our uh, apoapsis. Um, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. I think actually that's really good. Let's go ahead and burn off, I don't know, I guess we'll burn off about half of it. Let's see, how close did we get? Oh, we're super close to circularization, which is perfect. We do need to time this well though, uh, a nice timely manner. So we're gonna go ahead and get that clamshell fairing off. Let's go ahead and launch the satellite and we'll go ahead and get him at full periapsis right there, look at that. And then we'll go ahead and change to our other. There we go, so the satellite is in orbit. We'll switch to that in a minute. Uh, now we can go ahead and uh, we can watch this thing do its deceleration burn. Let's go and turn on SAS. Let's go to retrograde and we'll prepare for our, we, we actually don't have any burn capabilities, but we will re-enter at a very fast rate. But we do have our wonderful parachutes. So we'll see how the parachutes do. Let's go tracking station. Let's go ahead and switch to the sat. Let's go ahead and get that up and running. Let's extend those, let's extend that. That should give us communication. Let's go ahead and aim that satellite dish down. Perfect. All right, and then let's go back to default name two. <laughs> uh, and uh, let's go watch this as it does its descent. All right, we are starting on our out of control spin as we hit the upper atmosphere, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and let's pause. Let's go and turn off the reaction control because that is going to just cause extra issues at this point. There we go. Okay, so we deployed the chutes. Uh, we're at 8,000 feet above, uh, 6,000 feet above ground. Um, hopefully, yeah, we're, we're diving, we're, we are diving like an arrow. Uh, hopefully those chutes will deploy. Let's go ahead and make sure that they are ready to deploy, deploy settings. There we go. A minimum pressure, deploy altitude. Let's do 2,000 feet because I don't think a thousand feet at this speed is gonna work. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And we are slowly falling down quite well, actually. We're going at a rapid 10 meters per second, though. Hopefully that is still good enough. We are just above the green line for a vertical speed, so we might actually lose the booster tip, uh, but everything else should be fine. All right, let's go ahead and let's see how this does. Oh, we survived. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is it gonna survive the fall? Oh, snap. Well, it kinda survived. We can recover, so let's go ahead and recover it. Good. Um, unfortunately, they crashed, but uh, we'll go ahead to the tracking station. And let's go ahead to Kerbal, and let's go and see. We've got sat. We do have some debris. Let's go ahead and confirm the destruction of that. Although, honestly, uh, that doesn't actually work, that setting. However, guys, we have the satellite. There it is. Let's go ahead and circularize around to the planet's uh, sunny side. There we go. Uh, there it is, guys. In all its glory, it's beautiful satellite. And we are going to be transmitting the best television radio, a television and radio, to the Kerbal population on planet Kerbin. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. That was pretty fun. We had a blast. Uh, took a little bit, but uh, we got it. Anyways, I hope you guys like, subscribe. Please join me on Discord. I love chatting with people on there. And I hope to see you on the next one. I'll catch you later.